Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your uh, next seven days reading, your week ahead. Hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos, and I realize I never did do this for my water signs. So here we are. Hope every and please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'm truly grateful. And let's see what we've got for you. Okay, I'm going to get your cards before I give an interpretation. Been a very busy week for me. I am going to have some new things come up in my store. Uh, some resin projects that I am working on. Some things will be witchy-like or esoteric-like. Some things will be just your everyday life things. So make sure you keep an eye on my website. And I am also launching a tarot crash course on Facebook. I should hopefully have that up sometime today, I'm hoping, um, on my website as well. I'll be launching that on November 5th. In the beginning of the year, in January, I will have my master course. It will be like my academy that would be ongoing. There is no time limit on that. So, anyhow, let's get, let's get your cards here. For this week. <clears throat> okay, and underlining six of wands. Looks like a really good week for you so far, Cancer. Okay, we are going to start off with your protagonist energy. This is the Fool. This is a new journey. This is starting a new path. The full energy is taking a risk on something. So you, you are in full energy. You are, <clears throat> it, it portrays something of innocence. Maybe you are reaching out to somebody from your childhood as well. Or childhood memories could be coming up. But I'm feeling a new path, a new direction for you. And it's something that you are excited about with the Six of Wands energy. Okay. What is challenging you this week or your resistance is temperance. The first thing that comes to mind when I see this card in a challenge position, it's like getting the card in the reverse. It's a lack of patience. Maybe there are things that you need to learn first. Some things that need to come into balance before you can launch whatever energy is being represented by the fool. Okay? It just feels, I just feel like this energy of wanting to rush into something before really thinking it through. So I feel that it, you are being challenged to have a little bit of patience with yourself this week. You know, things might not be going at the pace that you want them to go. Although you have a great idea and you feel really good about this, it is a turning point for you this week. This week is very pivotal. Then for your outcome, we do have the Empress. Very good energy. I love this for you. The Empress energy is representing that growth, that nurturing, that giving birth. These two cards are going hand in hand. You are giving birth that you feel uh, to something that you feel really good about. Something exciting here, okay? And there's the energy of being very enthusiastic. This is a pivotal turning point. It seems like things are turning into your in your favor. You are very hopeful. This is a wish that you have been wanting. You may have been trying to manifest it so on heaven, as above, so below, energy kind of similar to the magician. So I feel that you've been doing a lot of manifesting on this. And I'm hearing the sky's the limit. But you have to be a little bit patient. You want to make sure all your ducks are lining up in a row, correct? You want to make sure every T is crossed, every 
I is dotted. You, I, I just feel that you need to be a little bit, uh, um, a little bit meticulous about how you set this up. For some of you, I almost feel like a business venture, especially with the pentacles here. Some of you may be launching a new business or getting into a new business. And the dog here is representing something trustworthy um, and something it's faithful. This is being committed. The dog is committed to the, this woman here. I mean, faithful, loyal. But most of all, I get that energy of you. This is going to require a certain level of commitment. That might be part of this temperance energy. You just cannot fly by the seat of your pants on this. With the um, Ace of Swords energy. This is a sense of victory and a sense of, a sense of knowledge and clarity. Anything that may have been cloudy. Anything that you were unclear about on your next move is becoming clear this week. You're going to be very clear. You're just going to know. Okay, now it's time to move forward wheel of fortune okay so the wheel is turning and spinning and i'm just feeling like being at the right place at the right time or meeting the right people at the right time i feel like timing is really playing a part in your venture and i feel very like i said i feel very strong some kind of business idea or work related thing but this is something that you've been manifesting something that you have been wanting for a long time eight of pentacles you know, that's that work. It's going to take work. Going back to the star, to that dog card, being committed. It's going to take a lot of work. And I'm hearing even trial and error. That's why you need to be patient. <coughs> you want to minimize your mistakes early on. You want to make sure, like I said, your ducks line up in a row here. You want to make sure everything is in order there's a sense of structure there's a certain way you, that you have to structure this eight of cups you're going to be feeling good emotionally no i do not i'm not reading this as new love except for new love for a business or a new job opportunity love for self and love for whatever you are doing or wherever you are going yes it does feel really good there is, you have success here um we have judgment call. This is about being careful. Maybe not spending too much right off the bat. You got that full energy again. Okay. You've got to be, and the fool here is telling me, don't be foolish with your money. Be careful about your investments. When you invest into this, yes, you got, sometimes you have to spend money to make money. But make sure that you are using good judgment call. Make sure that you your investments are smart. Or else, you know, if it's not launched in the proper way, yes, it could crash and burn with that tower energy. But you're very energetic this week about this. But just keep a watch on your bank account. Not to overspend. Just get your bare necessities. Be smart about this endeavor. And you will be successful. Okay, now let's get, um, I am being drawn towards a certain deck here. Just give me a moment. As soon as I find it, there it is. Of course, it's way in the back of my decks here. I just had to thumb through them. Okay, I'm going to get some angel answers cards. I was just being called to that for you guys. For some final thoughts. That's way too many cards. Oh, this one stayed on the deck. No need to worry. Okay, so yeah, you don't need to worry about this. It's going to be fine. You just got to be smart about your decisions and particularly your money in this. And you got a yes, you got the go. So you have the green light um, cancer on this venture that you want to start. Okay, that's what I have for you for your next seven days. Lo uh, we'll see you in the next video. Love and light.